were you nervous at all going from uh, essentially an independent an independent film where you know you, you won an Oscar for it. congratulations oh, thank you. and going to I can't believe come on guys don't no, no no it's okay it's last year there's been a whole other year that's happened since then but you were basically went from that to shooting this correct like a, oh yeah well yeah I was flying kind of every other weekend to do stuff for a room from all those places and then the Oscars I flew from Vietnam to the Oscars and then after the Oscars flew back to Vietnam at like 6 a.m. Were you hesitant point. at all going from a movie that had such prestige to what could be perceived as a, as a sort of just like a blockbuster monster film, which I think has a lot of prestige in it now that I've seen it. I see you. <laughs> I see what you're doing with that face. I mean, I didn't really. I got you. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I am digging myself out of this ditch that I dug in front yeah. of you. Right, let me see. Go ahead, dig out, dig out. Let, let me hear it. I thought I did. Let me hear you dig out. I did. You know, I said the, a film that, upon viewing, does. has a lot Watch of prestige. Has a lot of eighty-three percent of Rotten Tomatoes were amazing. Yeah. Um, thank you. Wow, got to clap for that. Thank you. Someone thank loves you. Rotten Tomatoes. Uh, that's a weird little thing that happens at a certain point in your career. You can be as prestigious and all that other stuff that people, you know, like and glorify you for, but. At a certain point, you can go in a room and people go, you know, that last movie she did put asses in those seats. We might want to hire her. People like her. Lots of eyes on her. You know, hey, come on, because that's the deal. Uh, there were, okay, fine, but there was no plan. I don't no, have a no, plan in have my life. No, no, doesn't okay. have to be a plan. Shit happens. And, and you it's hold like on to your when, butt. When, when I was doing Die Hard, Pulp Fiction came out. So Bruce and I flew from here to can to watch Pulp Fiction. I was like, damn, this movie's fucking good. Look at this. <laughs> you know, and Bruce was, yeah, it's good, but this movie's gonna make you a star. I'm like, what are you talking about? He said, Die Hard's gonna be the highest grossing movie in the world next year. And it was. And we did this thing we're doing now, we did this tour, and all of a sudden, People in all kinds of countries knew who I was that didn't know who I was before. Okay, you're scaring me a little bit. I'm trying to stay in my bubble. I don't want to be freaked out. Fuck that. Your bubbles burst. <laughs> Can I You're go? A blockbuster now. Well, that's you what guys happens. all saw it so, here. It was on film. I mean, that's the thing that happens. I mean, you you do a film that is huge, and people in little places that didn't see Room or don't know anything about all the other stuff that you've done are going to know that you did this, and you become that King Kong woman, blah, 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 and you become a big movie face. You're somebody who can put asses in seats. Can I challenge that, though, for a second? Because when no. I... No. Oh, 